Yesterday we performed Osler's first endovascular aortic aneurysm repair. Uh, traditionally, patients would have a major abdominal uh, procedure to repair an, uh, an aortic aneurysm. And the problem with aortic aneurysms is that when they reach a certain size, they are uh, prone to rupture and 90% of those patients will pass away if that occurs. So yesterday, this gentleman's aneurysm was quite large, measuring more than five and a half centimeters. Uh, we performed a minimally invasive approach uh, using virtually no cuts in the groins uh, and able to repair the aorta from the inside using stent grafts uh, and the patient can now uh, go home at uh, less than 24 hours. When the vessels are big enough to accommodate these types of grafts, we can put in a graft that actually goes inside the artery and excludes the blood flow from the aneurysm and directs blood flow to the legs. Surgery before endovascular consisted of a large incision. Uh, those surgeries were complicated by high rates of blood loss uh, and cardiovascular events. So the endovascular aortic aneurysm repair that we did yesterday was one example of the innovative approaches we're offering here with our vascular program. And here in our hospital, we're able to offer this minimally invasive approach closer to patients in their own backyard. They got moving pretty fast once they seen the size of it. It was what, 5.6? He said that was the best time to do it, so I took his word, let's do it. I'm not one for staying in hospitals. I, I get kind of cranky after two or three days. I want to go home and have a nice big steak. I can eat, can I? Okay, that's all I want to know. <laughs>